Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our Prism Mixer. It's a three boxes of multi-packs. It's where the cellos come from. And then three, five boxes of blasters. This is pick your team number three. Big thanks everybody here for getting in on it. Let's sort by column A. Once two, two teams, right? Gets you one entry for a shot at the Hornets. We're giving the Hornets away. So Bennett got four. That's two entries. Hunter got two, that's an entry. Nick L got four, that's two entries. Nick Stober got nine. For the purposes of the promo, eight count, that's four entries. Ryan Redmond got three, two count, one entry. TJ got two teams, that's an entry. And Tomoya got two, that's an entry. All right, so new dice, new list, name on top. After seven. Gets the Hornets. Let's make sure I get this right. Alifonso's not should not be in there. David, no. Davis, no. Hunter, yes. Bennett, yes. Nick L, yes. Nick Stover, yes. Ryan, TJ, Tomoya. All right. Just want to make sure I got that right. Five and a two, seven times. Name on top gets the Hornets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, there you go. Nick Stover. Certainly had the odds with him. Gets the Hornets. All right, now let's print and rip. So we'll put the rooftop next to his name so we know that he won that spot. He also had uh, also got triple last spot mojo. Bought the last three teams to knock out this break. All right, so let's print this out. So there's the three cello pack boxes and the five uh, blaster boxes right there. Good luck, everybody. All right, nice. And Jeremy just sold out that fast break break. So coming, I'll go through this as quickly as possible. And let's lock in that... Um, Let's lock in that last number block as well. I think there's only three left now. Link is in the chat if you want to get that going. All right. Yes, it is, Dimitri. It sure is. Wait, are you, are you talking about the three case break? You're talking about the... Oh, no, that sold out too. Nice. 
All right, so let's add that to the schedule. All right, so schedule is, is in the chat. Check it out. Oh, for what's going on? Who you? Who do you have? I don't know. You tell me. This is a pick your team break. So you should have that order confirmation with you. Uh, you don't have any teams in this one. No, this is the multi-pack blaster box mixer. Which we should we should have done this yesterday, folks. I, I feel like we could have gotten this done yesterday, so we could have gotten a few more NT cases in today. It's all good. They're not going anywhere, the NT cases. Well, FSU, you're gonna have to wait up for at least <laughs> you have to wait at least at a Maybe an hour. This break will take about 30, 40 minutes. Rex says the baseball Aussie is going to be huge free agent winter. You know what? I say no. I say it won't be, Rex. You were the one that said that you, th you thought the trading deadline was going to be quiet. And then it turned out to be the exact opposite. One of the busiest trading deadlines ever. So now I feel like if you're going to say it's a busy free agent window, I'm just going to go oppo. I think it's going to be quiet now that you said that. All right, LaMelo Ball. Base cart. Prism base, that's for Nick. There's his brother right there. Josh Green, silver. Tyrese Halliburton. That's for the Kings. That'll be for Nick. There's an Anthony Edwards. And Anthony Edwards will be for Bennett and the Timberwolves. The red, white, and blue. Nice. Red, white, and blue LaMelo. There you go, Nick. Nick Stover won the Hornets. down seven to go Um, I don't know. What, is, what does it say in the description? I feel like Vet Commons don't ship in this. Hmm. 
Who do I think will get a big payday? I think Bryant will get a big payday, whether he does well in the playoffs or not. I think a lot of baseball GMs... I think fans think that that play, the playoffs matter in terms of that salary. It doesn't. Not as much as like basketball. But I think Chris Bryant always, was always going to get paid. Corey Seager is a free agent too. He's going to get paid. It actually, in all seriousness, it actually might be a pretty big, busy baseball free agency window. Ooh, green Anthony Edwards and a base Anthony Edwards. So a couple more there for Bennett and the T-Wolves. Save a Patrick Williams. I'm looking for Patrick Williams like parallels, but would be nice. There's Halliburton, LeBron James. Those LeBron James silvers, I think, still sell pretty well. All right, let's get to the red, white, and blues. The biggest free agent contract right now? I thought Betts got it paid, but maybe, maybe Trout's contract is still, no, maybe Bryce's contract still the most. I think it'll be interesting to see what Chris Bryant gets. If someone is just going to be like, we're going to give you like 10 years, you know, $400 million, or if he's going to opt for maybe shorter chunks of time at, you know, so it'll be interesting to see. Because the way, because I think Machado's contract has a lot of opt-outs and stuff like that. So there could be like a lot of opt-outs and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how they structure his contract. Bryce Harper's contract, I think, was the was the most recent one that was just like an old school contract. It was like, here's X amount of years and X amount of money guaranteed. No opt-outs, no team options or anything like that. Which is pretty crazy. Box.
All right, I don't know if uh, if Senjin is still in here. Let me know if you are. Kind of cool that match with Johnson Green. Kenyon Martin Jr. Green. That'll be for David and the Rockets. He had he had some moments last year where he looked really good. He's got he's got a decent ceiling, I think. Obi Toppin Green. Lamelo Ball base. Nice. All of those add up next over. Thought that was Anthony Edwards for a second. And a nice silver Tyrese Halliburton Kings next over. Nice. These second year uh, John Moran and Zions also carry some decent weight. I might have missed a couple of those, but those will those will still ship. In this break, Brent, we got a red, white, and blue. Uh, got a red, white, and blue Lamelo ball, which was pretty cool. If you're asking if, we, if you miss anything exciting overall tonight, I would take a look at our Twitter at Jaspie's Breaks and look at the tweet from earlier today. Nice silver Luca too, by the way, Dallas Alfonso. At Jaspie's Breaks, check out the tweet from August 11th, 2021. I like those Giannis's too. All of the red, white, and blues will ship. We soundproof the wall. Haven't heard a fire truck in ages. No, nothing's changed. Um, I guess a quiet night in the South Bay. In the South.
South Bay of Los Angeles. I guess people are on their best behavior. I, actually, that's kind of funny. I didn't, I didn't really think about that either. I think I've just gotten so used to it. But now that you mentioned the silence, it's very interesting. Where are the fire trucks? What day is today? Wednesday? I guess middle of the week? No one's really getting into trouble in the middle of the week, I hope. Glowbug, what's up? You think the Yankees are going to throw a bunch of money at Chris Bryant? I could see that. I could see them trying to throw a bunch of money at, uh, at Corey Seager, too. Both. And I think the Dodgers realizing that, I think that's one of the big reasons why they picked up Trey Turner. Yeah, they're going to work on that left side of that infield. I agree. The Yankees. And then maybe trade or shed some of those some of those guys like You know, maybe you end up moving guys like Glaber or Shella, guys like that. Get new homes elsewhere. Or outfield. Chris Bryant can play the outfield. So they can put him out there too. So there's, there's, there's some positional flexibility there. I think Carlos Correa is a free agent too. Or yeah, move, move Labor to second. So I like Corey Seager a lot, but injuries have been a bit of a thing. And I think, but I think some a team like the Yankees will probably take a chance on him and and give him a pretty big contract. But yeah, I think I think uh, unless Corey Seager wants to come back to the Dodgers, I don't think that. I don't think he's going to take a pay cut or anything like that. And I don't think the Dodgers are going to be too too aggressive. You know, especially knowing that they've got Trey Turner around now. There's Thomas Bryant for Ryan and the Wizards. Jaron Jackson, Purple Wave. Points, sorry. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Boban Marjanovic. Amos Ramsey, Nas Reed, autograph for the Timberwolves. That's going to go to Bennett. CJ LB, Tim Hardaway Jr. DeMar DeRozan for the Spurs, Sensational Relic 
for Tomaya with the Spurs. And the last stack here, this is a Patrick Williams, Elijah Hughes Silver, Devonta Graham, a Tyrese Halliburton, Kobe White, and Jabari Parker. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Our eight box break in the books. Let's randomize that 600 points to somebody. So let's go back to this list right here. Let's gather everybody's names. And the name on top, oh, that's a different dice roll. The name on top, here's some new dice. After two snake eyes, we'll get the 600 points. One and two. Easy. Hunter, 600 points going your way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.